Investigators are leaving no stone unturned in the search for clues in the Aaron Hernandez murder cases. Police are hoping to speak with several of the former Patriots tattoo artists. Hernandez's arms tell a number of stories, some of which he has talked about in the past. Bobby Sisk is live in our satellite center tonight. Bobby, they want to know about tattoos from a specific time period. That's correct, Lisa. Investigators, as you said, hope to speak with tattoo artists who gave Hernandez specific tattoos on his right forearm between February of 2012 and June of last year. Even though the artists are not in trouble, getting them to come forward and talk about this may be difficult. Long before his arrest for Odin Lloyd's murder, Aaron Hernandez showed off his tattoos to WBZ. Well, they all got a lot of meaning, and uh, I, I got some when I was younger. And it's the ones he got around the time of the 2012 murders of Daniel Abreu and Sefiro Furtado in the South End, murders he's now charged with that the Suffolk County DA's office is interested in knowing more about. You will probably never find out who got it, where he got his tattoo. Mick Miller from Body Extremes in Quincy never worked on Hernandez and says it's unlikely the former Patriot ever went to a regular shop. I would think he wasn't even walking into a tattoo parlor. Uh, the tattoos he's got probably ended up, he probably ended up getting them in somebody's basement or their kitchen. It's no surprise to Miller that investigators are asking about the tats. He's been asked by law enforcement before what certain ones mean. The DA's office won't give specifics, but will only say the artists are considered witnesses and are not accused of wrongdoing. The mothers of these uh, two young men, uh, they're just uh, completely grief-stricken by it. Attorney William Kennedy represents the families of the South End victims. The idea of somebody uh, gunning down two innocent men and then celebrating with a tattoo uh, seems a new low on the scale of human uh, depravity. The search for these tattoo artists is nationwide now, with Hernandez traveling to California, Florida, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and then back to Boston during that time period. He'll be in court to be arraigned on those two first-degree murder charges connected to the South End killings next week. Live in the Satellite Center tonight, Bobby Sisk, WBZ News. Lisa, back to you.